Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. I wish, hope and pray that you all are well, keeping it safe and clean around you. Considering the lock-in staying safe situation, which I pray will soon be over, it's a perfect opportunity to level up your productivity with my two-minute tutorials. Today, in two minutes, we will make ourselves or anyone pop out in a video scene so they look more focused, more central and get immediate attention from viewers on screen. You can use this effect for all sorts of videos. Now to do this, you can use most editing softwares, but I'm going to be using Premiere. So let's open up a new project in Premiere and I'm gonna make this make yourself pop. Hit OK and there is our new project. So now I'm gonna be importing my video clip that is right here, drag and drop it right here. Open it up and let's see how it looks. So there is our clip that we'll be working on today. As you can see, there's a lot of green, a lot of white and that red box behind the girl staying there, looking all fancy, but still all that visual is quite average. So we want to make her pop out a little bit more than she is at the moment. So let's drag the clip over to our timeline and this will make a sequence. What I will do is unlink the audio and delete the audio since there is no audio in my clip. Select the clip, make a copy of your clip by pressing Alt and dragging the clip on the top layer. If you're on Mac, you can use Command. So let's select the copy on the top and go to Effect Controls. Here I will click Create Ellipse Mask, right here in the Opacity section. You see the circular mask which has been made right here on our first layer. I'm going to be calling this the top layer. Let's disable the bottom layer right here. You can adjust the mask to your liking and according to your scene. So I'm just like covering up mainly that girl which is right in the center of the screen. After that you can play around a little bit the feather and see how much blend you can use so that your effect doesn't pop out and it doesn't look like there is a clipping going on. So to avoid that you can use a bit of feather here and there to adjust it according to your scene. Then you can also make some adjustments using the mask expansion. The mask expansion allows you to to expand the mask or shorten the mask. So I'm going to leave it to the default setting, which is zero. Now, this is the area that we want to bring down a little bit. The center is going to remain the way it is. I'm not going to change any color, so it will make it look more artificial. I'm going to keep the colors there the way it is. What I want is to reduce and make the surrounding area around this girl go a little bit dormant, a little bit dull. So the center pops out, so the girl can pop out a little bit more in the scene. And to do that, what I will do is invert the mask, which is right here. And now you can see we have deselected that central area and we're going to be working on the surrounding. If you have the Lumetri color opened, that's fine. Or you can go to Windows, choose Lumetri color. And from here, we'll be working on the color adjustment. So I'll make the bottom layer visible so we have the complete scene. And as we make the adjustments, we could see what's really happening here. Select the top layer. And let's play around with the settings a little bit. First. I'll drop down the exposure a little bit, so minus 1.5 seems fine. Let's turn it on and off to see how it looks. Next, let's bring the contrast a little bit up, bring it up to 15. You can see the difference. Then we'll bring down the highlights a little bit, so let's just drop it down to minus 15. And to play a little bit more with it, let's just drop down the white areas a bit from the surrounding area. Now you can see, there we have created our first pop-out. So how simple was that? If you can play the scene, you can see that the girl really pops out quite well in the scene. You can see that's exactly where you want it to focus. But there's a little thing that you need to work on. The camera is panning from right to left. Since we started from the center of the clip and we made a mask right in the middle of the clip, what you're going to do is to place a key right where we made the mask. So let's go down to our effects panel and select mask path. You can see the mask right there and hit the watch button to set the key there. I'm going to slide back a little bit where the camera is panning, come to the point where it stops. Select the mask path again just to make sure that it's selected. Hold the shift key and move the mask to the left. So as we shifted the mask, you can see there is another key which has been placed automatically there on the timeline. So now, if we can scrub through the timeline, you can see that the mask is moving as the camera pans. See, that's pretty interesting now and it looks pretty good. So now, you know the trick. Hope you find this really quick and easy effect helpful. What more would you like to learn? Shoot it down in the comments. We'll see you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.